All right. It is Tuesday, May 7th, 2019 at 2.31 p.m. Let's quickly take a look at some headlines. The CDC warned consumers not to wash raw chicken. The, consumer, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is warning consumers not to wash raw chicken. On Friday, the agency tweeted that doing so can spread germs from the chicken to other food utensils. Many f u um, users have been commented, Sorry, I follow the rules of my 92-year-old mother's kitchen. They haven't failed me yet. Others are saying, Wash your chicken. Don't just you know leave that grime and whatever the chicken juice it comes in. It says here, The CDC responded to the pushback in a follow-up tweet saying, We didn't mean to get you all hot about not washing your chicken, but it's true. Kill germs by cooking chicken thoroughly, not washing it. You shouldn't wash any poultry meat or eggs before cooking. They can all spread germs around your kitchen. Don't wing food safety. So I'm in the camp of washing your chicken and seasoning it well, adding some vinegar, some lemon juice, and you know more seasoning than salt and pepper. I use adobo personally, but all right. Next, Ice Twenty rescued impossible human smuggling ring in Phoenix. So 20 people were rescued in a possible human ring in Phoenix. Approximately 20 people have been rescued from a possible human smuggling ring in Phoenix according to an Immigration and Custom Enforcement spokesperson. Federal agents say Phoenix police contacted them about potential store stash, a stash house near 27th Avenue and Camelback Road around 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Authorities say they do not have any details regarding the country of origin, gender, or age of the people rescued at this time. This is an ongoing investigation, said I spokesperson Yasmin Pitts of Kifi. Stay with ABC 15 News for more updates. Alright, so I'm going to leave the link uh, on, of this video, of this uh, page on the video, if you guys want to follow more on this story. But it is so awesome that 20 people were rescued from human trafficking. Alright, next. Drone used to drop Nazi leaflets outside Ariana Grande's concert, other events in Sacramento. From f folks gathered at an outdoor college fundraiser to fans and passerbys outside an Ariana Grande concert in downtown Sacramento last night, residents of California's capital city had their Friday evenings interrupted by Nazi propaganda that was apparently dropped out of the sky by a drone. The leaflets printed with swastikas and statements like the press is the enemy were first noticed according to the local CBS affiliate. Friday evening during an annual event dubbed the Bites of the Bridge on the Bridge, taking place near the campus of California State University Sacramento. The outdoor fundraiser fundraiser involved di diners eating and drinking on the Guy Western pedestrian bridge that spans the American River. Shortly after reports cropped out on social media, CSUS President Robert S. Nielsen issued a statement condemning the leaflets. So it's horrible to have naf Nazi leaflets just dropped outside a concert in a public area. That's just crazy how bold these guys are getting. Alright, next. The royal baby is a boy. Harry and Meghan thanked the public for its support and kindness. Meghan and Harry posted a video on their official Instagram page thanking the public for its support and kindness. This afternoon, His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex shared the news of the arrival of his and the Duchess' firstborn child. The son was born early morning of the 6th of May 2019 and weighs 7 pounds 3 ounces. The Royal Highness, thank you for the support and kindness during an excep exceptionally joyful time in their lives as they welcome their baby boy. And the video shows Harry speaking about the announcement. So I'm going to leave that link there for you guys to check out if you want. It's pretty awesome that they got a baby boy. I was actually thinking that it was going to be a boy. So, <clears throat> so happy for them. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And see you guys next time. God bless.